Hey everybody, this is Noah with Learn Meta Analysis, and in a previous video, I showed you how to connect the Mistral API to your own Zotero database or academic paper database. Now, the natural question that comes to mind for me is, are these Mistral models better than Duane, my local model I had been using, or Notebook LM, the kind of the go-to that everybody knows about for academic paper synthesis with large language models. So of course I set out and I tested it. So let me show you some of the really cool results that I found. So I used the same three questions as last time and this is generally how I ran them. So you can see I used the hashtag and then uh, called my collection, which is Notebook LM in this case. I said write a literature review about the impacts of pedagogical agents on learning for an academic paper. And that's just one of the three questions that I asked in the previous series. And it gave us answers side by side for Mistral large and Mistral small. So what I wanna point out real quick that I just thought was kind of like mind blowing compared to some of the other LLMs I've used, I was skimming through these references because it actually gave me reference lists. Here's the thing, some of them are right. <laughs> like, I, know that's, I know that's weird, but like, some of these references are right and some of them are wrong. So as always, we need to double check some of the reference lists that are in here um, because the details get a little skewed. So as an example, Choi and Clark do have a 2005 paper, but it is not this. Um, it, the, this I think is actually referencing um, one of my papers from 2013, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but you know what, here's what we can do. We can take this and I'm gonna copy it. All right, so let's see what we find when we copy paste that in. Yeah, see, so that's not an actual paper. It's kind of close to what my paper was, but not exact. Um, so anyway, we still do have those hallucinations, just like we would see in pretty much any large language model that I've seen so far, they all hallucinate to some extent. So let's start off with the three questions. Again, I have this spreadsheet, it's linked down in the description. I'm not gonna have you guys sit and wait and watch everything. Um, as I ran these, because that's boring. Nobody wants to see that. So over here, just as a reminder about how this spreadsheet works, I have details about my LM configurations up at the top. I have my RAG configuration and Open Web UI here, and Notebook LM as a reminder. It does have citations. They just didn't copy over to my spreadsheet. So the first question that I asked was summarize the consistent findings around pedagogical agents. So we asked this of Notebook LM last time, and if we scroll over to the right, we can see uh, Dwayne using Granite 3.1. By the way, 3.2 just dropped a couple days ago. I'm excited to try that. I just haven't had time yet. So uh, we have Granite 3.1 here, and we were looking at how Dwayne answered this. And so let's compare this to how Mistral answered this. Now, my favorite answer of this set was the one from Mistral Large Latest. So I wanna point out a couple things here that I noticed immediately about these Mistral model responses as compared to some of the others. So first is length. So if we look here, we can see that Mistral, both of these models replied longer than Dwayne 2B and a little bit longer than Dwayne 8 billion as well. So the other thing I wanna point out is the number of citations that it included in text, okay? So over here with Dwayne, you can see there's a few, but there's not a lot. And unfortunately, I don't have it copy pasted in here correctly where I can actually view the findings from Notebook LM. But here's the thing about these citations as I was looking at this. So let me, uh, it's gonna make it too wide if I do that. Okay, so as I look at this, Baylor and Ryu 2003, that's a real paper. Craig Golson and Driscoll 2002, real paper. Uh, Domac 2010, real paper. Dunsworth Atkinson 2007, real paper. Mayor Sabco Maltone, real paper. All, like, the vast majority of these are real papers that are being cited here. And so to me, that was really, really exciting. And then in terms of why I liked this response from the large model versus small model, I think it's largely just personal preference on the themes that it highlighted between the two. So that's really interesting. You guys can go through and read these different responses when you want, but so far that notches one win in the Mistral column for me. Moving on to our second question. Our second question is, what are the common theoretical frameworks driving pedagogical agent research? And if you remember when I tested Notebook LM versus Duane, I found that they were all kind of a tie and they kind of went on little tangents um, where they, they had accurate information that was more or less, but like it was kind of not really what I, what I felt like it should be. So when I ran Mistral, I had low expectations. I expected it to be very, very similar. Instead, I was dumbfounded. Why? Because the very first line, the provided context does not directly specify the most common frameworks. Thank goodness, why couldn't someone else tell me that? Why didn't these other models tell us that, right? So I really, really liked that it highlighted that, hey, none of these say it, so I'm gonna do my best guess. So I really like that transparency 
from the Mistral models. Now, in terms of why I liked the Mistral small response more than the Mistral large response, honestly speaking, the Mistral small response was much more on target than the Mistral Large. So Mistral Large mentioned, I mean, Mistral Small mentions cognitive load theory. That is one. Social agency theory, this is a big one. I'm really glad it grabbed that. Uh, down here, you can see multimedia learning theory. Really glad it grabbed that one as well. Um, and emotional design is another thing that is relevant to some pedagogical agent research. So when I look at these responses, again, Mistral Small is really standing out to me. And you guys probably know, I do have kind of an innate bias towards Mistral models. I really like that Mistral makes a lot of their stuff available for free. I like that they release their models with open weights, but I am approaching this as ultimately, these are all free tools. What is gonna help save me the most time and what is going to give me the best understanding and what's gonna give me a jump start on my research process? The, through these first two questions, I'm leaning towards the Mistral models. So then I go into research question three where this question I say, write a literature review about the impacts of pedagogical agents on learning for an academic paper. Now, I must admit, this is very based on your opinion of how you want this structured. So like this one I think is more subjective than the other two in the sense of, yeah, there's general themes, but the way it gets written really kind of matters to how you're gonna interpret it as which one you find most interesting and most effective. So previously I had preferred my Duane models over Notebook LM because Notebook LM gave a lot of like one-liners as compared to Duane would explain things in a little bit more depth. Now. When I looked at this compared to the Mistral models, I noted that the Mistral models did put things into sections and it explained things in a similar way. And when I say a similar way, I mean a similar level of depth with citations and such, more similar to Duane. And that honestly is more the style that I would like to read if I were to give it a prompt something like this, like write a literature review. So again here, Mistral small latest was the best for me. This is the one that I preferred. So that means I have all three marks. I'm just checking this. Yeah, all three marks are for Mistral models. And two of the three marks are for Mistral small. Now, something I want to mention, you can run Mistral small locally on your computer. They have made it available through Olama. If you have a big enough GPU, you can run it. I think it's like a 23 or 24 gigabyte model. I do not have a big enough GPU to run that quickly, but I am very, very happy with using it via the API. So let me show you real quick what this looks like using Mistral small using the API. So I'm gonna get rid of one of these. I'm gonna switch this to Mistral Small. We'll do hashtag notebook LM, and we'll say um, what are the effects of pedagogical agents on learning. And super quickly, we get a response here from the API, and it gives us this wonderful information, positive effects, negative effects, mixed results. I mean, down here we have, this, this is just stellar. I mean, I don't, I, I always find myself dumbfounded every time I use a new model that I find to be really good. I love Mistral models. I honestly don't use them all that much, but I love them. I really enjoy them. This is giving me a reason why I want to be using them more, okay? This is better in, in, my, in my limited testing, in my spreadsheet testing. This is giving me better responses than my local LLM. Now that shouldn't be very surprising, I'm using Granite 2 billion and Granite 8 billion as my local LM, and this is a 24 billion parameter model. So it is a bigger model, so I would hope it does better. But the biggest standout things to me right here are these citations, okay? Because this gives me a point to find these things. So let me give you an example of how I would use this, okay? I'm gonna get my Zotero pulled up here in a second, but what I wanna show you is like this Baylor and Ryu 2003. If I was reading this and I asked this question, what are the effects on learning? And it says motivation engagement, agents can enhance motivation and be able to help students use materials more effectively. And they're citing Baylor and Ryu. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go back to my Zotero where I keep all these things. So I'm just gonna search Baylor, Ryu. Those are my authors. It's gonna come up here. Here's our first paper, the Baylor Ryu 2003. We can check it here, 2003. And when I click on my PDF, I now have my PDF because I uploaded this into my collection. So I knew I'd have this PDF. So I can go through here and I can double check to make sure that that is an accurate citation. But the thing that I love about uploading my Zotero database is everything that's cited in here is probably in my Zotero database, right? So let's see, Choi and Clark 2006. Let's see if we can find that one. I'm pretty sure we can. 
Oh, look, what do you know? Choi and Clark, 2006. And if I open up my PDF, I have my PDF of that paper right here. So I will say that I have been really, really impressed with Mistral Small generally. I was impressed with it when it was on my computer. I am even more impressed with it now when I am running it through the API. It is fast and it is working great for my personal research assistant. So as of now, I feel pretty comfortable using Mistral Small via the API. It's really quick, as you saw. It's giving me great citations, and honestly, I'm liking most of the writing. There are some cases where Mistral Large performed better. In my testing, you know, I had one particular prompt where Mistral Large performed better, but all in all, here, here's where I'm ending up. I don't need Notebook LM to do what I want to do. Okay, I can do this private and locally if I want using my model I call Dwayne. I can use him if I need to keep information private. If I don't need information to be kept privately and I just want to run the best model that my personal opinion of what's the best model for doing rag like this, I can just use my Mistral Small API just like I showed you guys in the video earlier this week. And oh, man, I just, I just can't say enough about how thrilled I am with these results. So please feel free to try this out. If you guys find another LM that's working even better, share, let us know. Let me know your thoughts on this whole process down in the comments. Um, if you have any questions or anything, again, please leave them in the comments. I try and get to all the questions that I possibly can uh, as you guys ask them. Uh, otherwise, that's pretty much all I have to say on this. I'm, I'm really enjoying using Mistral. I think it is benchmarking really well. I did forget to say, one of the best things about doing it this way, instead of using Notebook LM, there is no limitation on how many papers you can use. So my main Zotero database is about 1,400 papers. And if I ask a question here, let I say, what are the effects of pedagogical agents on learning? You can see this takes almost the exact same amount of time, except now it's combing through 1,400 studies instead of combing through the 47 studies before. So with Notebook LM, I think there's a limitation to how many PDFs you can upload. You don't have that problem here. With this system, you can upload as many papers as you want into your knowledge base, and you can have Mistral reference it. So to me, that is also kind of a game changer because that opens up a lot of opportunities. So that said, I'm gonna stop rambling now. I hope you guys have an absolutely great remainder to your day. And if this video is helpful for you, or if you like content like this, please like and subscribe to help support the channel. Thank you guys, and I hope you have a wonderful afternoon.